Say Keisha, people on Instagram them slow you know, and them like for Jojo and say. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenidos. Es Bengo Momento. Checking in. Hola, ¿cómo estás, peeps? No sé qué está pasando. Bienvenidos a todos los nuevos suscriptores. Big up a todos los que están aquí desde hace mucho tiempo. Y si estás viendo el programa y no te has suscrito todavía, solo ve y haz eso ahora. No se olviden de clicar esa campanita para todas las notificaciones, mi peeps. But we so jumping at that one now up our settings first let's start it off with dog paws baby mom of 10 years breaking her silence right now my people and that is Leah Tavares Finson the outspoken daughter of noted attorney Tom Tavares Finson my people and when we say she and dog part them share a 10 year old son and we see where she took to Instagram my people and she has said I will miss you Papa Bear my dark paw watch over us the right way now and as we look at this picture we see dog paw right there with him and Leah's son and her other child right there. Now, peeps is a weird twist to this story because at the end of the day, we see where the situation turn out somewhat like Bob Marley and Cindy Breakspear's situation because Cindy Breakspear is her mom and we see how back in the day they used to criticize that relationship because of Bob Marley being from downtown and Cindy being from uptown. Now the same situation her daughter falling and we see where them kind of create a bridge door between the whole uptown and downtown stigma my people but comment let me know what are your thoughts where this situation is actually concerned right now don't move tanya stevens after the break <laughs> Okay, so thanks for staying tuned on the program right now, my people. And we see we are the PNP, the opposition leader, has come out right now, and he must say him oppose mandatory vax. Now a lot of Jamaicans are going to be happy to hear that at least one of the political parties are opposing that mandatory decision but right now we see where Tanya Stevens she's just I mean she's just taking the whole thing for a joke my people because after we see she put up this picture with yeah the PNP leader she put a yeah, a okay sign where fingers are concerned. And when we're looking at the comment section, we see where this person, we, we, we see where the person I say, LOL, of course, he'd say this. Another person said, literally, the opposition leader, LOL. And we see where Tanya Stevens, she responded and she said, he is <laughs> weakest ever now my people do you think mark holding is the weakest opposition leader we have seen for a long time comment and let me know what are your thoughts where that is actually concerned after the break now our power to move <laughs> Already, so the market are going to run one little bit of money because Atlanta that same way. So, me have to just understand say, yo, me have to pay a mortgage for six months. So, my six month, me have to know say, yo, me have to pre say, yo, this house here fix in a six months. So, by the time me sell back the house there and, and, and pay back the bank where them forget, I have my profit. <laughs> so, it's not something when I say, me wouldn't take a loan. And that's why I said to you, I rather like. Say me go on cheap estate. If it's a if a ten grand for the house, I could cash out on that because you don't need for your paying a mortgage for a ten grand crib. And then when say, say for instance, my buy 
a house. I buy two houses. Twelve thousand dollar each. That's twenty four grand, right? Say everything come to board for the two house them come to board. Call it say thirty thousand dollar after you don't pay your the closing costs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could leave them two cribs right there for a year without touch it because the end of the day a mines the only thing me I pay a, a property tax. So suppose and insurance. Me, and insurance. So mm -hmm. boom now. So I'm ready to fix up one next year. I can fix up the one the next year. Put a money in at that. Fix it up. Go and rent it out. The next one now. When I'm ready, I start work on that. The end of the day is mines. I don't have to raise. So watch this now. While I have them two out, oh, sit down right there. So I can have the money now to fling in on one thing at Atlanta. When I say, I flip, I flip over your son now. So basically, when I go to Atlanta, go flip. If I make seven make seventy thousand dollar profit, me use the seventy thousand dollar over yes or no at least thirty or forty and fix up one of the crib them. Yes, Talk to me that's, that's why we. That's why we. That's why we. I asked you what was your goal because like I have clients who own over a hundred properties in their portfolio. And then I have some clients, all they do is flip properties because they're doing something else with the money. No, so no, whenever we deal with clients, it's, I have to mm -hmm. ask, what is your goal? Are you just looking I'm, to I'm cash get a, out? I'm, may I get to you? So you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to smart. I have to know how you do this thing. Everybody have a goal. My goal, if me can, if me can say, say me can flip three hours a year. Zine. My goal is to do it for a little while and then I say, fuck it. I don't want to flip no crib, crib alone. I want to go in or something where we can have some units, five units, six units. Okay. So that's the goal. So that's you have I to mean. start from somewhere. So your goal is to buy and flip and earn the money to purchase an apartment unit. And that's where the bread comes okay. in, bro. Yeah, so like I said, you have to you have to be able to explain what your goal is because if you can't say what your goal is, we can't advise no, you properly. No, 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 no. Why me for tell everybody my goal? I know my goal that that I just piece that that piece that a brand. Remember, you have people. But see, but see, you know, guess what? When you start, goal. when you start, the, you have people you try to mess goal. up your goal, you know. Yeah, well, let me tell you this. This is just this is when you start doing commercial lending. That's a whole nother world. So sometimes you can get the seller to help you go into the loan without putting that much money down. So that, that's a whole nother class on commercial blending. So we, that's we, another class. We need to invite them to our event, bright, so they could be informed. We can't just give away information <laughs> for free right now. They no, you can't. No, no, no. You're not. Let me tell you something. I'm not sure even I said anything. But sometimes people need people need to hear them something out there because people yeah, don't understand their real estate. Some of them just jump on and then on that table. Yo, no, I got this, I got no, I got that. You don't. It's, it's tricks and trade to it. Just like what Lisa said. She's like, yo, what's your goal? Because she was just thinking I should just rent here, rent there. But it, you have to start from somewhere. You understand? Yeah. You, yeah. You, you don't know how much money I have in my account. You don't know how much you don't know how much things I have to take care of. Remember me own my house, you know, and and, and remember I'm living in a house with my own. So I still got mortgage over there. I still have a mortgage I pay down there. So <laughs> so, yo, this thing. person named Yo, what up? Yogi, yo, that keeps saying land, land, land. We are aware of land. We we'll yeah, buy, buy land. land too. People buy land, you know, they don't, that's the only thing they don't make no more off is land. You gotta if go you to can Texas. Find some, if you can because find some, you land. gotta go, you gotta go to Killeen, Texas and buy cheap land and just leave that shit for years. What you know about Killeen, Texas? Don't play with me, Lisa. You see? Now you see that I'm, you're not talking to no little story. Right? I, didn't, I never said that. All right. Go to Killeen, Texas I never and buy some land. Either. They got land in Killeen, Texas for like $10,000 right now. $15,000. You could just buy it. Let it, go, let it just stay there. Tell, years. tell them the first time you went to Jamaica and you saw that property, how much it was and how much is it selling for now? But Keisha, the that's water. that's uh, Keisha. Honestly, oh you know, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. It was. Hear. It, it was uh, eighteen years ago. I was in See? Mumbai. I don't want to hear. That's ago, when people didn't understand. They were selling properties for thirty grand. Real talk. Real, Real talk. talk. If, if if I was smart, in Mumbai, on the point, beach. 
No, honestly, I keep it real. A lot of these niggas who is a who drug dealer who used to make money back then, a lot of them, if them did a think them time there, niggas could have owned the whole of Jamaica oh, right now. Oh, trust me, trust me. I'm, I'm Jamaica, not like, land used to run for like twenty thousand dollars. All on the hill and all them shit there, twenty thousand US dollars. You know, you know, shit. Noah, and if some of them was smart too, they would capture a piece. After ten years, you're entitled to that. It's called captured land, easement mm -hmm. by prescription. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know what? Crazy. I used to, I used to always wish I could meet those type of people so that I could show them what to do. But you know what? Those guys, they don't have no sense. They like they like to play with people. They don't like to. They don't think about tomorrow because they think the money gonna always come. Let me tell you, ladies, you can't respect I'm, fast money. There's I'm no respect telling, on I'm fast money. I'm not telling money. the guys them because a lot of these guys they slow and they don't understand. They believe in hype. No, there's no respect ladies, on fast money. Even, I want even all for my women who dance, up. there's no respect on fast money. Ladies, fast money boss is not the fuck up. I'm telling all my ladies, boss up, boss the fuck up. Stop taking these niggas' money and buy a bunch of expensive bags and shoes, and you ain't got shit. Start saving some of this money and put some of them money there on some so real They don't know estate. how to do that because they've lived off of their looks for so long, Noah. They don't nah, know but, to but, but a lot of these girls, they got friends. They got friends that's doing shit. If you can't eat from the sense you have friends who can't tell you the truth. Yeah, but guess what, Noah? You see, when they have friends, let me, let me show you something. Let Yo, you somebody something. said, no, I don't say that. Listen, me not stop no woman from wear expensive stuff. I never said you can't wear expensive stuff. But all you can wear expensive stuff. And you'll be folding said, it up, piling it up in a suitcase and don't have a home where you have a closet you could look at. You know what I them kill me. Hear me, I say. <laughs> no, listen, but Noah, Noah. Really, Noah. That's all me, I say. Listen, listen, real talk. Me and a dancer, I am okay. I wear stuff when I feel like it. If I feel like buying something nice, I wear yeah, it. Ain't nothing wrong with wearing, okay. But my thing is, I see people, and it's and especially up north, up north. I'm gonna I'm tell you straight up, especially up north. I see females, I see couples stressing to wear. Like a, a whole entire outfit will probably cost thirty five, four thousand dollars a night just to go out to an event, right? I see this with my own two eyes, and they're living in a rental property. That don't make no sense. Stop beating the people on the rental property. Cause enough people them can't get a house. Got them credit. Yes, they can get a house. They, they can get a house to do the work. They can get a house. There uh, is honestly, foreign national. Not, you don't have right, to. It, you don't have it. to have papers to get a house. Yeah, we so have. Me not, me not beat nobody who live in a rental property. I'm just saying, you could, you could, you could live in a rental property, but don't think of living there for the rest of your life if you, if you, if you're living a certain lifestyle. I think you should at least put yourself in a position to to say, okay, I'm giving myself two more years in here, four more years in here, five more years in here, if. You're living that So what lifestyle. are you saying different from what I'm just saying? No, no, no. I'm saying if you're living the lifestyle, because remember, you still got people that rent place. And a lot of oh, people... Yes, we love you know, No, that's what I say. When you say rental property, you're still... Have to, you have, as Mr. Keisha, people on Instagram, them slow you know, and them like to judge you and say, oh, yeah, Chuck Balboa, we are rent place. People who think you just talk about people in general who rent place. We're talking about no, the people them who I'm talking live about how you spend your money. Let me explain this to you. If I can walk in your closet and the clothes in your closet are all Gucci, whatever, and your whole closet is worth $100,000, that don't make no sense and you're renting property. That's stupidity. <laughs>